Hi guys, welcome to Pixel Affair and in today's video we are going to talk about the vibrate tag in Cinema 4D. So this video is part of the Cinema 4D tags explanation video series that I'm doing. So here I have this um, sphere object and a strip here. So to apply any tag to any object, all you have to do is select the object and you can come to this menu, the tags menu here. You can see we have all the tags in here or we can right click on it and you can see from all the way up to the section where before you see the line everything here is a tag that you can apply to your object and the vibrate tag can be found under the animation tags so i go into animation tags and you can see give me another menu and down there we have the vibrate tag so i click on it to choose it and now i have my vibrate tag applied to my objects so what the vibrate tag does is that it adds automatic animation to your position scale and rotation if you enable it so now if you hit play nothing happens right but what you can do is if you select our vibrate tag and it comes to attributes its attributes manager you can see in here we have some parameters in here and you can see you have enable position enable skill and enable rotation so those are the parameters the vibrate tag can add automatic animations to so if i choose enable position and i hit play you can see now it starts giving our object some random animation right so the animation that it's applying to our object is very random and it's not like randomly moving um back and forth and it's moving on the sides that's because when you come down to the amplitude the x so this is, so is x this is y and this is um z the x is set to 100 centimeters so you will move 100 centimeters and the frequency is set to two so the frequency is that it moves like with um within the 100 centimeters back and forth it moves twice within a second so it's like sort of like a speed right so if we reduce the frequency to like say one and now hit play you can see now it, it slows down so that's what the frequency basically that it's like the speed but if you want it to move upwards as well we can also increase this one and if we hit play you can see now it's moving all over the place you can also add the z to it as well so you can add a little bit here and reduce this ones as well and let's hit this play and see what see we have some randomness going on and stuff so this is something you can easily use to add some um automation or movement to your objects especially some background object that might not necessarily need um specific animation but you want it to be moving you can simply use this to add some automated animation to it and it will be very very um useful so I'll set all of these to zero and I'll enable, disable the position. Again, you can enable a skill as well. And if I hit play, you can see middle, uh, we have some parameter setting here. So two by two by two, meaning you scale it two by two by two. One thing you have to check is that everything the vibration, the vibrate um, tag does, it really applies to your transform, transform um, coordinates of your object. So if you so I select my null object and come here you can see now like the position skill rotation has actually moved so it's actually moving controlling your p and x y z position skill and rotation down here so you see immediately i disable the position let me go back you can see even though i've disabled the position but uh, now our transform has been left the way you know the last position that it was so you have to set it back to zero 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 and now with the skill enabled if i hit play again you can see now it's randomly scaling it back and forth like that All right so that's what and again you can go in and change the frequency to maybe one and all of that so basically that's what it does but then you can see we have regular pulse here so when it's moving so let me actually go back into the position and let me actually increase this one to like say 30 right and if you hit play you can see the movement is quite random but if you want it to be very regular move like in a steady predict predictable way we can choose regular pause and now you can see if i hit play it will always go within the 30 so it's very very regular and very predictable it's not that random again right so that's what the regular does so for instance if i select the sweep this sweep right click it and come to animation tags and i'll add vibrate to it 
this time I'll enable the rotation and you can see it starts rotating our um, sweep right so I'll make sure the pulse um, regular pulse is checked and then you can see it's very regular I'll probably reduce the amplitude and you can see it, it's giving us some nice back, um, back and forth let me actually make this one zero and now change the banking here and you can see it gives us some nice animation so now if I should go inside and actually let me click on the um, the sphere vibrate tag and if I come in here and enable skill you can see it's giving us some skill but let me actually reduce the frequency to like say one and at the same let me enable the rotation as well and see it's giving us some rotation let me in, reduce the frequency to one as well and you can see we have also an, another interesting looking kind of animation so you can use it to do a lot of interesting fun stuff i hope this was very um, useful and i hope you enjoyed it as well thanks for watching and kindly subscribe to the channel and show support see you in the next one